What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Many people come to CSGO to play the game and enjoy collecting skins that make their inventory unique compared to their friends. However, some people simply come to the game in order to make money or make investments that they believe will give them a large return on their investment in the future. Although this has worked in the past for many people, there are still many risks that come with CSGO investing. Let's cover everything you need to know. This video is sponsored by SkinsMonkey. SkinsMonkey is an automated trading site with an insane amount of skins. Simply click the skins that you don't want from your inventory, click the skins you do want, and press trade. Use code CLAUDE to get up to $5 extra on your first trade when you spend $100, as well as a 35% deposit bonus. They also have freebies for daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways. Link is in the description. Check it out today, and thanks again SkinsMonkey for sponsoring the video. The first thing that I want to talk about is market manipulation. Whenever there is money to be made in anything, there are always people looking to make money off the unsuspecting. Market manipulation happens all the time in CS2, however it sometimes goes unnoticed. This commonly happens when a group of people work together to build hype around a certain item that they have already invested in. Then, with this, it drives more people to invest in that item. As the price continues to rise, more people notice that item, and more and more people start to invest. It gets to the point where the original buyers, who bought before that hype, sell off their items, which forces the price to crash instantly. This then makes more and more people begin to panic sell their items and quickly drives down the price. People trying to make back as much money as possible in order to not lose what they put in. However, many of these people will then lose their money and they will be at a negative loss compared to where they were. The best option for this is to look at a price of an item Wait to see how the price changes over 8 days. If an item is rapidly increasing in price, look at the price, check back in 8 days and see if there's a huge drop off. That 8 day window gives time for people who bought this item and the trade lock is over to resell that item and see if it corrects itself. If the price does not go back down, then you do know it is a safer investment as it is not a quick flip that many people are doing. Another issue that I want to talk about is investing into play skins that are commonly used. The AK, the M4A1S, the M4A4, or any other skins that are commonly used. Weapons are always being balanced in CSGO or CS2, and this runs the risk of play skins losing a ton of value if that weapon you're invested in gets nerfed. We have seen in the past that M4A1S is meta, and then it switches to the M4A4, or vice versa. This can always ruin people's investments if they are heavily invested in one certain weapon. With the game always changing, we never know what the future holds for each weapon. That is why investing in play skins isn't always the greatest opportunity. The next thing I want to talk about is the gambling side of CS2. Opening cases or gambling on websites can affect the skins market and can affect many people's investments. People often turn to gambling when they lose out on money in hopes of bringing back money they have lost. If you are invested in the CS2 market, never use the money you have trying to open cases in hopes of getting a knife or making back money that you have lost on previous investments. This will never end well and will only make you lose more and more money the longer you continue to do this. Yes, you could get lucky and get that 1 in 1,000, 10,000 skin that will bring back some money you have lost. However, 99% of the people that do this will continue to lose more money. At 7,500 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away this survival knife stained. And at 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away this huntsman knife freehand. All you got to do, like, comment and subscribe make sure your trade link or steam id is in the description of your youtube channel now let's continue on the next thing i want to talk about is panic and fear this is what drives many investors into the negative and separates the weak from the strong a strong investor knows to only use money they are willing to lose but also knows not to sell when others are fearful in fact the best investors do the opposite 
They buy when others are fearful and sell when other people get greedy. Never sell your item because the prices are going down. If there is a dip in the market, this is the time to buy in. Simply hold your items as we can hope they will recover over time and when we do hit new highs, that is when you can sell off your item for a profit. The final point that I want to make is to be aware of scams. If you're already an investor or you're constantly building your inventory, more people might begin to offer you money or other items for your skins. If it sounds too good to be true, it is too good to be true. No matter how much someone tells you or shows you that you can trust them, never give in to these people. Thousands of dollars of skins are stolen every single day from people who don't understand or have never experienced it. You need to understand the safe ways to sell your skins when you are ready to sell your investments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video isn't intended to tell you not to invest. It is simply a guide on what you should know before you do invest. CS2 has a ton of potential to make you money as long as you go about it the right way. If you did enjoy this video or found it helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe with notifications on. Until next time, peace.